Hello friends, I am Rohit from Talent Battle and I welcome you all for this informative video lecture series for InfiTQ. In this video, we will discuss about the DBMS final round MCQs. Let's start with the questions. See the first question over here. Identify the statements that will be true after executing the following statements on an empty MongoDB collection. Okay. So the MongoDB collection is given and they have also mentioned that multiple answer questions. So definitely more than one uh, options needs to be uh, chosen over here, which are valid as far as the output of this particular problem statement is concerned. So let's check DB fruit insert. So we are creating this uh, particular uh, statements executable. So ID 501 fruit name pineapple season summer and price 45. So this record will be in inserted into the mongodb collection so we can see second is again 502 watermelon winter and price is 40 third one is 503 custard apple summer and price again 40 504 banana winter and price is again 25 so we are getting the schema like this id after that uh, fruit name then we have season and the last one is price okay and due to the insert part we are getting the records like this uh, 501 502 503 504 5 and 506 according to this particular statements right and we have the records of fruit name season and price as well right in this particular schema okay now up to 506 your schema is ready table is ready now we are performing this particular uh, queries over there the first one is update see this symbol is important here dollar symbol and the operator is or right so what we have to do is so we have to update the records fruit name as watermelon or price 40 so we have to check from these two records and what we have to do update is set the price as 35 so we have to check whether fruit name is watermelon then that price should be set as 35 or price is 40 then we have to check for 35 as the or operation is going to get performed over here on these two records. So let's check 502 here the fruit name is watermelon so we will set the price as 35 so this 40 will be modified to 35 here. Then second is the record who is having price 40 that also will be set as 35 here. Right, so this is our record. Either you will check for fruit or you will check for price. So this second one, where my ID is 503 is the ID. So this price is again modified to 35. Now two records has been modified by this particular statement, and I can write down the IDs. Those are been modified. 502 is modified and 503 is modified. Okay. Now next is again update. Update what? ID 503. Specifically, we have to update this. And what we have to do, we have to set the price as 25 for 503. So this is 503, which is already updated in the previous query. So we'll record the price and it is updated to 25. Okay. Now see the third query is update ID 506 purposefully. But here you can see the set part or the dollar symbol is not present over here. Right. Only the season winter is this. So due to this syntax, the entire structure right entire statement structure I will say for record for ID 506 will be modified and the things which are mentioned in the statement will remain otherwise entire things will be uh, deleted right so ID 506 and season winter that will be remain and ID 506 and season that is updated to winter here and the remaining things that price then fruit name this will not be the part of this particular record now because of this particular update statement okay if we have something here like dollar set or like or then we uh, we might modify uh, any particular statement but as it was not present so the entire record gets modified and only the id and season winter will be the part of this record then the last one is db fruit remove remove the what remove we have to remove the price of the records where it is greater than right so this is stands for greater than 40 so remove those records whose price is having greater than 40. So see in the updated case we have one record that is 501. So here 501 will be modified whose price is greater than 40. So I will just remove this record right. 
so remove this entire record remove it okay due to this statement this is 35 this is 25 25 25 and this is a winter only okay so now all these four update uh, three update record and one remove statement has been applied to the given mongodb collection and now see what they have asked here three fruits will have price as 25 so let's check whether it is correct or not see here the first record is removed so we will not consider this second record 502 price is 35 503 is 25 right so my 25 price is this then 504 is also 25 505 is also 25 and this is removed so only winter so we will not consider this okay so we have three records with the price 25 right so this is true in this case so this is my true case the second the fruit collection will have four winter seasons right so let's check the fruit collection with winter season this is one here it is summer second winter then third winter and this record 506 will also be considered because the season has been modified here as rest of the things are not there but season winter will be there right so we will consider this as a part of this query so four season winter are there right so fruit collection have four winter season so this is also true okay this is also true the third case two fruits will have price as 35 so let's check uh, 501 is deleted removed 502 is having 35 503 is updated to 25 right so 35 is there and this record is permanently removed so price factor is removed fruit name is removed only id and season is there so we will not consider this record over there so this is false right this is false case and the fourth option that two fruits will have name ending with melon so here we can identify this name with ending with melon and after that we have here musk melon but this particular uh, structure of the record has been deleted due to the uh, update query this third update query so we'll not consider this right so again this will be my invalid statement the false case so only first two are my true cases so you will be selecting multiple answers like a and b are true for this entire mongodb collection right so i hope you got this see here what is given consider the table customer so this is customer table and purchase table this is my purchase table and it contains of customer id customer name and customer type here it is purchase id customer id product quantity and amount some records are also given here so let's check the query first select customer id customer name from customer so from customer table you have to select id and name so we will be working on this particular column id and name from this table okay where the customer type is equals to privilege so the customer type we will be checking also but only the record where it matches with the condition of privilege okay so uh, if i focus on the privilege part so i will be working on this this and this these three things are satisfying the condition of where clause okay because it is mentioned as customer type should be privilege so my records 1074 1056 and 1055 are into the picture and customer id in here so inner query is also there with where clause so we will first uh, target the inner query and we have uh, discussed about the outer query as well so what is inner query select customer id from purchase so now from purchase table we are dealing with the customer id table uh, column sorry so customer id from purchase where my amount is greater than 300 so this is my amount column and the condition is it should be greater than 300 so how many records which are having amount greater than 300 right so this one after that this one so two records are there in the purchase table whose amount is greater than 300 and we will to we have to select the customer id from them so if i take the customer id for these two records i will get c1076 and c1074 right and these conditions is according to the amount which is greater than 300 so this is the result of inner query right this is the result of inner query c1076 and 1074 that we got and and we have to work with this privilege so select customer id customer name from the customer so we have taken this customer id and customer name from the customer where privilege record is there customer type is privilege so we got three records for outer query c1074 the name is felix 
then second one is c1056 the name is james and third one is c1055 the name is adam and they are having the customer type as privilege now we have to add this means this plus this so similar records you have to identify so you can see c1074 felix and c1074 records are same from both the tables 1076 doesn't match with the uh, remaining records of the outer query so 1074 felix satisfies this query and what will be the output of the query executed so option b will be the output c1074 felix which will give me customer id as well as customer name okay so my b option is correct here in this particular problem statement moving towards the next this is theoretical one uh, previous year such type of questions were asked so which are the false statement from the following so they have asked for the false statement okay read the question carefully from the following in regards with primary key right so there is lot of confusion in the concept of primary key so make sure that you are very clear with the theoretical part of this and according to that you can choose the correct answer so we will first identify all the four statements whether they are true or false and then we will decide which are the false statement so primary key uniquely identifies a row yes so this is my true statement because yes primary key is specifically known for this purpose that it will uniquely identify a particular row uniqueness is there then primary key column or columns in one table can be referenced by foreign key column right so primary columns can be referenced by foreign key column in the another table so this is true because we normally use this that one table uh, id or any column is having primary key which can be referenced as a foreign key in the another table so this is also true there can be more than one primary key for a table definitely not so this is my false statement this is not allowed and the column with a string uh, the data type char or var char to data types cannot be made as a primary key because of they are large in size right so this is not the reason we can make a string column which are having data types char and var char as an primary key as and when required and according to the problem definition this is not the reason that because they are large in size we are not going to make them as a primary key so this is also my false statement okay so now what was the question which are the false statement so option number 3 and option number 4 you have to tick because those are false statement corresponding in regards with primary key okay moving towards the next question see here consider an empty student table the student table is provided here only the schema is provided table schema and following alter statements are successfully executed on this table sequentially so already they have provided that successful execution is done uh, so directly we can apply the results of this on the schema sequentially that has been happened and then which insert statement will execute successfully on the modified student table right so after performing these alter statements my table will get modified and then we have to check this insert statement which one is correct okay so first we'll start with the modification after alter table alter statements so first one alter table student drop dob and age so dob and age attributes are there we have to drop them according to this query okay so what i will do i will remove them drop them from the schema right so this is done second alter table student add gender attribute with the data type char1 so what i will do i will add one more attribute here gender with the data type char and it will hold one value okay one uh, letter the third one is alter table student modify name to the number so the name attribute the data type of that should be modified to number so here it is name attribute so we will modify this data type to number okay and the last alter statement is alter table student rename the column which column id to student id so this student id id column needs to be renamed so i will rename this to student id so these are the four alterations that we have done according to the alter statements and all are successfully executed as mentioned in the sequential manner now the schema has been modified to this now this is my updated table right modified student table i can say now i can apply which query will be executed successfully so first we will go one by one first is insert into student values so i can insert into this it should match with the structure one that is first that i can say student id because now i am having only three uh, things in three attributes student id which is of integer data type 
नेम विच इज ऑफ नंबर डेटा टाइप एंड जेंडर विच इज ऑफ कैरेक्टर वन डेटा टाइप ओके सो ओनली थ्री थिंग्स आई एम हैविंग फर्स्ट वन इज स्टूडेंट आई डी आफ्टर दैट आई एम हैविंग नेम एंड आई एम हैविंग जेंडर सो थ्री इनपुट वैल्यूज कैन बी डन अकॉर्डिंग टू द डेटा टाइप सो वन स्टूडेंट आई डी इज पॉसिबल जेम्स इज द नेम बट यू हैव पास द कै डेटा वेर द डेटा टाइप इज नंबर सो दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो दिस इंसर्ट स्टेटमेंट विल नॉट बी एक्जीक्यूटेड सक्सेसफुली इट डज नॉट मैच विद द डेटा टाइप द इनपुट रेकॉर्ड सेकेंड इंसर्ट इन टू स्टूडेंट वैल्यूज वन फाइव एंड फोर जीरो दैट इज फोर्टी सो वन इज एक्सेप्टेबल बिकॉज ऑफ स्टूडेंट आई डी फाइव इज ऑल्सो एक्सेप्टेबल बिकॉज इट इज अ नंबर डेटा टाइप फोर्टी द थर्ड थिंग इज जेंडर विच एक्सेप्ट कैर डेटा टाइप विद वन कैरेक्टर सो दिस इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल ओके फोर्टी इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल सो सेकेंड क्वेरी विल नॉट ऑल्सो वर्क इंसर्ट स्टेटमेंट थर्ड इंसर्ट स्टेटमेंट इज इंसर्ट इन टू स्टूडेंट वैल्यूज वन फाइव एंड सिंगल कैरेक्टर एम सो वन इज अलाउड एज अ स्टूडेंट आई डी फाइव इज ऑल्सो अलाउड एज अ नेम बिकॉज इट इज अ नंबर एंड देन एम विच इज माई जेंडर वैल्यू विच इज अ सिंगल कैरेक्टर राइट सो दैट इज ऑल्सो अलाउड सो माई थर्ड क्वेरी इज फाइन सो थर्ड विल बी द रिजल्ट एंड यू हैव टू ऑल्सो चेक द लास्ट वन इंसर्ट इन टू स्टूडेंट द एट्रीब्यूट वैल्यूज आर ऑल्सो गिवन एंड द वैल्यूज आर गिवन बट वी हैव टू चेक दिस वैल्यूज वेदर इट इज मैचिंग विद द गिवन मॉडिफाइड टेबल और नॉट सो आई डी फर्स्ट इट डजेंट मैच बिकॉज वी हैव एंड एनी एट्रीब्यूट विद आई डी वी हैव स्टूडेंट आई डी वी डोंट हैव आई डी बिकॉज इट इज बीन मॉडिफाइड बाय द अल्टर स्टेटमेंट सो वी हैव स्टूडेंट आई डी सो दिस विल नॉट वर्क आफ्टर दैट एज एंड डी ओ बी दिस थिंग्स आर ऑल्सो बीन ड्रॉप्ड सो दिस आर नॉट पार्ट ऑफ द मॉडिफाइड टेबल सो डेफिनेटली दिस क्वेरी विल नॉट वर्क सो माई ऑप्शन थ्री इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विच विल सेटिस्फाई द स्कीमा ऑफ द मॉडिफाइड टेबल एंड द वैल्यूज दैट हैव बीन इंसर्टेड ओके सो आई होप यू गॉट द लॉजिक ऑफ एवरी स्टेटमेंट एवरी एग्जीक्यूशन प्रॉब्लम एंड यू अंडरस्टैंड इट वेरी थरोली सो स्टे ट्यून एंड डू सब्सक्राइब अवर यूट्यूब चैनल and simultaneously you can join the whatsapp and telegram group for off campus updates thank you